What's going on guys? Vic VP back one of the Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're looking at the Mega Touch RX in its final resting place. Alright guys, so it's been a while since I've actually taken you guys down to my basement, my battle station I call it. I have my whole like desk set up where I edit my videos, play my games, that's my whole battle station. And like I said in past videos, this right here is going to basically be my game room setup. Right now obviously I do have my V-Pin 50 inch, love that thing to death. It is actually a year old. Um, built it August 30th, I made my promo video on my birthday which is August 30th. Today's like September 7th and that hit a year old. So that's pretty cool, I got some big V-Pin stuff going on. Do have ideas for this area here but on this one today we're talking about the mega touch rx i like the area i put it in i like the whole thing i set up with it it's a great footprint it doesn't take up that much room i i really like how it is and again i do have this on marketplace for sale but right now it is probably going to stay in my house because it is too unique and to me it's kind of rare although it is not a rare unit you barely see these though in the wild. So honestly, this most likely will stay in my house. I think it's also great because you know, while playing like V-Pin, which I've already done it a couple times, I was playing my V-Pin and the wife was playing the Mega Touch. So we were pretty close. Again, my kind of house setup, this is the boiler room. Um, so really like you don't really enjoy the Lisa and the Marge artwork, the right side artwork, which is why when I was building my V-Pin, I purposely put Barton Homer on the left side. A real Simpsons pinball cabinet. Marge and Lisa are on the left side, but I purposely put Homer and Bart because I like Homer and Bart better than Marge and Lisa. So I knew where the V-pin was gonna go. Yes, I had the artwork. Yes, you could see it from here, but it's not really like how you enter down the, the staircase way. That's where I kind of figure out why I wanted to put the Mega Touch there. It's a great footprint. I was gonna put it here, but I feel like this wall's too big for that. So, pretty happy with it. Let me know what you guys think, if I should leave it there or if I should put it on this wall. Uh, but for right now, I'm gonna leave it there. Before we get closer to it, I wanna show you guys one thing which is amazing what you could do with a $10 bookshelf from Ikea. They don't make stands for these Mega Touch RXs. They are really meant to be on countertop bar tops. I did my research. Found obviously like my, my go-to is Ikea because it's cheap stuff, I get it. Um, but I found from Ikea this bookshelf. Uh, I think it was a Billy bookshelf. Kind of got upset personally because I wanted the black bookshelf. Went to Ikea, turns out all the Ikeas in New York, New Jersey, the black bookshelves are discontinued, they're gone. They only had the white, which is why this bookshelf was 10 bucks. Originally I think it was 30 bucks, but it was only 10 bucks. So Ikea bookshelf and I am the LED king, I added LEDs to it. So I think it's really cool, I think it's awesome. I posted this on Marketplace and I have a friend out in New Jersey that saw this and was like, Vic, I want the stand, give me the stand. And I was like, it's an Ikea bookshelf. So it's pretty cool what you can do with LED strips. So it is a very cheap $10 LED strip that goes inside the shelf. So I do have holes, I have LED glow behind it. And as you can see, this thing glows. So now when I started this video, I actually had my V-Pin set to night mode, which deactivates DOF, uh, which I, you know controls the LEDs, the strobes, the beacons, the solenoids and all that. So I just turned it on just so you can kind of compare you know, the LED glow from the Mega Touch to the V-Pin. Uh, really not, not too bad, not really you know, horrible. It does kind of collaborate or collide, I should say, but again, my Ikea shelf, I have my LED control at the bottom. I could always turn off the LEDs on the Mega Touch, but in all honesty, I think it's pretty cool. All right, let's get out of selfie mode. Let's take a close look at the Mega Touch. Let me discuss with you guys what exactly I did, and let's take a look at the total cost it costed me to complete this. So again, IKEA bookshelf. I usually put my uh, they're over there right now, but I did it for video purposes. I usually put the keyboard and mouse for my V pin. I put it here because it's pretty convenient, it's pretty close. So right now there's nothing there besides the LED controller. Again, I just have it here for now. Uh, and I do, I do have this box here, which is housing the old hard drive that was inside this Mega Touch. So in this box is the 2012 with the key. 
Mega Touch has needed a actual physical key. It's not like a key at your home. It actually looks like a watch battery. Um, and it has like this black thing sticking out of it. There's an actual key here. So I do have the 2012 plus the key in this box. Um, the seller I bought the hard drive from, he did say, hey Vic, you could probably sell the 2012 hard drive. Um, so that basically, I could basically resell it. Um, but taking a look at the Mega Touch, the biggest thing about this is that this is running, I went to competition by accident. This is running the 2014 Mega Touch hard drive. So if you know Mega Touch, the 2014 is the last version, last edition, last hard drive this, the company ever made before it went belly up. So again, it is 2021 right now. Yes, this is a 2014 edition. And yes, this is the most current up-to-date version that there is in the world. So hard drive came from, let me grab the eBay seller's name. So the eBay seller on this is Mega Mbit. Mega Mbit hooking it up, not for free, no discounts. Mega Mbit basically revived this whole thing. I did purchase the motherboard that you saw in the last video and he did sell me a new 2014 SSD keyless edition hard drive. A uh, hard drive I believe cost me about 130 bucks. Um, what's pretty crazy though is that the hard drive that's in it, uh, yes this does have adult games on it, the hard drive that's in it uh, is actually only I think it was 60 gigs. Uh, so some of you might say hey 60 gigs for 130 bucks, whoa got ripped. Not really again this very much you know I guess coding and, and stuff, I don't even want to get into it, but I'm happy my Megatouch RX is up to date and A-OK, -okay, good to run. So again, Megatouch RX countertop edition. This is a 19 inch widescreen monitor touchscreen. Uh, this does usually have a swivel base, but right now I do have it leaned up against the wall here. I'll be honest, my Ikea bookshelf is not sturdy. Um, it's ikea what are you gonna do about it but i did know that i was gonna essentially lean it against the wall not to mention you know when you are playing the games and all that you do kind of push on to it so keep that in mind i could still service it i do have my key here i just have to kind of pull it up and pull it forward um but no biggie because i will never have to open this up again swapping out the ssd on this was super easy just like a computer you basically take out the old ssd and put in the new one mega touch has a nice whole bracket system i had to take out the bracket put in the new hard drive, screw it in, and call it a day. I like the comments that I do get from you guys about Mega Touch because there are people that are like, whoa, I've never heard of a Mega Touch. A lot of people from like out of country never heard of a Mega Touch. There's a JVL um, version of a Mega Touch or a Touch Masters. They're basically different companies. But uh, one interesting person that found me on Facebook messaged me and goes, hey Vic, uh, I remember played me playing Mega Touch at the bars, but I never knew it was called a Mega Touch. Sure enough, he found one in his local like Facebook marketplace, bought one, sent me a picture of it. He's like, Vic, thank you for the video because now I can enjoy what I used to enjoy at the bar. So it's pretty cool that I'm helping out people and people are watching the videos. Now, as far as the hard drive here, pretty cool stuff. This does have tournament play on it. I do have it active because if you don't have it active, these buttons are here, but you can't click them. I think it's kind of stupid. I haven't played too much into tournament mode, but basically, um, there's a list of games you play this game if you beat it you go into the next game and the next game and the next game So it's pretty cool um, This version of this hard drive has a lot of games. It did have the 2012 games and more So I didn't lose games. I believe there's hundred and fifty games all together There is one big thing that I noticed and if you guys watched my last video I'm very big on my game photo hunt photo hunt is my jam. I love the hell out of it I don't know what it is, but I suck at Photo Hunt on the 2012 and on this version. They definitely changed something. Um, they, I, I'm kind of upset because like when you play it, the old Photo Hunt, the one I used to, the one I, I had in the other video a while back, the classic version, like when you kind of lost, you would hear like a like a bah! like like cartoon noise, cartoon sound effects. This version, for some reason, there's music in the background. I do have it kind of low. But, like, the music kind of annoys the hell out of me. But not to mention, like, I can't get past, like, round three. Uh, without, like, using the magnifying glasses. So, definitely something to note. Uh, I don't know why, but I suck at this version of Photo Hunt. But I'll just have to play a lot of it. 
Um, but again, a lot of great games. My wife was playing a couple of the strategy games. I had baby girl with me, baby Ava. We were playing this monster madness chaos thing. We were just basically touching the screen. Um, but definitely a lot of cool games. I had a friend of mine reach out to me in Jersey, the one that noticed my cabinet. He actually purchased one off of a website. I think he spent about $1,300. Uh, and he bought one because he saw my post, my videos, and he's like, Vic, I want one. And I said, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna sell mine. So he went and bought his own. And uh, he's big on like the card games. He likes that, you know, you could play like hold them and all that. So he is definitely enjoying it and stuff. New action games, pretty cool on this version. Uh, this kind of zombie edition cardboard chaos was new. Beer Pong was pretty cool. I was playing that with my wife. Kind of a slow game. Um, it was just too slow for me, kind of, you know, boring. You kind of take turns, but it is what it is. I kicked my wife's butt in Hoop Jones. She wasn't ready for that. Um, but again, the big thing is that you do notice that like you do have your classics on this. So like 2009 versions, 2008 versions, um, you know, people have always played air shot, puck shot, QB zone. Um, and again, a couple of new ones like Vinci ball. I never seen before. Um, do, 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 this kind of new boxing game was pretty cool, but again, a lot of games, definitely games from the 2012 edition are on this. And I would honestly say from past editions, look, even old school monster madness is on this Luxor was classic too. It's kind of like, um, the pop cap game. Uh, again, these, a lot of these are classic and you could see like, see Luxor one. And then there was Luxor two that I just clicked on. I lost it. Luxor 2 and then Luxor 1. Um, I keep pressing back. I'm sorry. I should just keep pressing more. Uh, Wild Apes is another one. If you do like the card games, I believe, you should have like the 9 ball stuff. I think 11 ball. I'm sorry. The game was called 11 ball. Again, the way I'm seeing it is that I do have all the classic games on this and more. The cool thing with this is that it does load pretty quickly. Again, with that SSD, it loads you know, pretty, pretty good. Um, the big thing I did notice when I was videoing, uh, recording my other video with the 2012 hard drive, I did notice like after maybe 10 minutes, the actual game froze, like the whole system froze. Uh, it basically determined that the hard drive was actually a little bit bad. So far I've been playing this, this I keep on cause this is meant to be like commercial use. So I do leave this on I would say like on the weekends, Friday night to, I would say Sunday night, I do let the system run and run. Uh, and so far, no hiccups, no headaches, nothing at all. Playing with the wife and a couple of fan members, it's not too bad. It's just kind of, there are a lot of games, which is not a bad thing. Um, it's just now you gotta kind of really, like me personally, I'm gonna sit down and play every single game just to see what is up with each game. Um, Big thing that was a selling point with the, this certain hard drive was this kind of shooting game. Um, let's see, oh, this one, Air Guardian. I remember seeing a bunch of ads for it. Like, you know, if you look up Megatouch RX, they keep, you know, the advertisement for this unit was like, it now plays this Guardian game, which is pretty cool. Um, again, you can even see like the newer style, like load screens and all that. This game or one, I think the beer pong game, there are versions of mega touches that have like a little joystick. Um, you don't need the actual joystick. So that's, what's pretty cool with this is that, you know, you don't actually need a joystick. This will work with the touch screen. So it is definitely cool. I just blew up, um, again, loading up like another game. Uh, again, you do have your classics and then they did ba basically make some newer versions of it. Um, I'm going to load up just before this video ends. Cause I don't want to bore you guys too much. I'm going to load up like the, um, the monster madness, like monster madness two. If I load it up, if you're going to see like, it's a whole different loading screen. It's kind of newer, you know, graphics are kind of higher. So it's pretty cool. Whatever mega touch did before they went bankrupt, they definitely like had some new design team come in. See like this, this was never like this. This was never like how the classic was. Uh, if I launch regular Monster Madness, it, it didn't have like a start screen like that. It would just go into the game. But definitely like kudos to like, and as you can see, it is a full screen game. So again, kudos to like the developers before company went belly up. They definitely did do pretty well. Uh, let me see if I could find uh, the original Monster Madness real quick, just to compare. There we go. This is the regular original Monster Madness that a lot of people are. See like, that was it. 
and as you can see this is not a full screen game so it's like you know they basically added like the high score list here you could swap like this advertisement board which i really don't know the point of it but i will be adding like my own logos to it so that is gonna be my next little step it does have usb so i could always add it and uh again this is classic right here this monster madness i'm not really that good at it um let's bring that down let's get those let's get that good 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 i messed up too but again classic monster madness the only big thing i'm kind of not upset about in a bad way is just the high scores it's all zeros so every time i kind of exit out of the game i might have to enter my name i kind of wish there was a way to just kind of either reset but if i reset it does bring it all to zero I kind of wish it was just like a whole bunch of random um you know high scores created this way i kind of have at least a challenge but basically like if you do go into like obviously my game which is photo hunt i did put blanks but basically it would say my name <laughs> but oh no there you guys have it the mega touch rx one thing i forgot to mention was this i did remove that broken plastic basically just took a heat gun flathead screwdriver popped right off uh not planning to put that thing back and uh again there you guys have it mega touch rx countertop 2014 edition in its final resting place vig vp game case arcades mega touch so now real quick before we end the video i told you i'm going to tell you what i spent so far so right now captain's rx dead unit that sold for 250 plus 80 dollars shipped uh, again it should really be like almost 300 because i didn't include the premium i should um so figure 380 the new motherboard cost me 150 the new hard drive cost me 130 and the ikea shelf and the leds cost me 30 bucks so you got to figure i'm right now in the hole about 690 dollars again i can most likely sell this for about 1300 maybe 1350 if i wanted to do the stand so there you guys have it big vp game case arcades don't ever doubt yourself on a broken auction unit you could bring it back to life